Hey everyone, this is Carnage Panda coming back with more of the Valkyria Chronicles 2. He's still in solitary confinement? Well, we can just roundly ignore that, right? Because we can go right to uh, the R&D building, which is going to be the first thing I do. And it's going to freeze up on me, because of course it is. See how long it takes. Yeah, it's just uh, reading off the hard drive there. Yo! Hey, Vaughn, prices up? are down again. Oh yeah, the, the <laughs> new weapons. This is why I wanted to come here first. <laughs> development tier seven. I guess there's twelve development Yo. tiers. Yo! Maybe there's more at, in post game. Cross area artillery. Okay, my first question is, is this something that I can do? Some enemy tanks, okay, never mind, are able to fire shells into other areas. Dealing with one-sided attacks from unseen enemies is tricky, but luckily you are also able to... Cross area artillery. All right. Cross area artillery tank turrets can be developed at the R&D building. Once you develop these, you can use tactics such as shelling the enemy before swarming in with your infantry. Because they had to make Lavinia stronger. This is just a joke at this point. To initiate cross... That costs four? Fuck! Why would I use that? Cross area artillery fire, move the cursor over to the vehicle and press the triangle button. Select the barrage command that is displayed and then select an enemy unit to target. However, the artillery barrage does not begin right away. It will be fired at the end of the next enemy phase. Cross area artillery costs 4 CP and you can only fire one barrage each phase, so choose your targets carefully. That's all I've got. See you later, kid. Hey, Yvonne. What brings you here? Okay, that's, that's absolutely ridiculous, but... Let's just go to all. We can get new sniper rifles. Uh, that's just base sniper rifle. Um, my question is, do they give me like the the rifles that you get in Valkyrie Chronicles Four that th uh, shoot three shots? And um, because of that. No, no, it's when they become sniper elites that uh, snipers in that game can actually use interception fire. Oh, I ran out of out of stocks. Okay, so actually in this one, because there's AT snipers and, and sniper elites, there's probably uh, anti-vehicle rifles and, and yeah, so I don't think that the AT snipers can really make use of them. AT sniper soon. Let's just go down to vehicle. APC bodies. Light APC-5. Um, that costs a lot. What about tank bodies? I want to know if I get a heavy tank later. Will it cost 3 CP? Look at that thing! That thing is massive! I can make it though. Wait, I have the anti-arm armor mortar. Oh, maybe I should be going with standard turret then. 
what's the difference? Oh, that does a lot more damage. But then I get the 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 uh, Gatling gun so that it can suppress things, and I don't think I was I was getting that. Mortar Gatling. Actually, what are the, um... Artillery turret. How much is it going to cost? 7,500? YOLO! <laughs> well, we should be able to, to clear out some, some new aces in these, uh, classmate missions. I get markings. Enemy camouflage. Urban. Okay. This actually gives negatives to, to your defense for having the enemy camouflage. What? No. What, what stickers do we get? The class G emblem. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't realize I could go farther to the, the right. Okay, class G and serpent. Morale plus 50? Those are those are pretty good actually. Okay, there is a uh, max level is what it says. Well, that's a uh, that uh, clears a lot up for me. Okay, now that I understand. <coughs> the hell does an extra fuel tank do? What's this? Sprinkler unit. Negates heat. Well, I want to pick that up. These are like the most valuable. Uh, I don't need it right yet. Uh, I need a range finder. I need to I need to knock these aces off. Anti-armor gatling. Anti-armor spec. What's the difference between this and this? Enhanced Mortar. I feel like this might actually be way better. It's too heavy! It's too heavy for my poor tank! Oh no! Oh no! It's this one, right? No, no, it's this one. It takes up all the slots, so I can't have any utility stuff on it. Okay, so this I only want to use if it's it's like clear daylight and, and everything, and I don't need to have uh, some some kind of utility thing. Okay. Let's just put a lightning rod on it because uh, we don't care.
this thing would just, uh... Oh, we could actually rotate it and stuff. I I just realized that because I, I looked down there. Okay. I, I, I'm good with it right now. No, I don't, I don't want to switch. Okay, I need monies for that. Okay, Yvonne, you're still chilling in jail, jail huh? I think I need to free you. <sighs> okay, <laughs> today's day five. I can finally get out of here tomorrow. Uh, somebody's at the cell next door, sounds like. The guard? Maybe. The dang, he's impatient about something. You get out of there right now, Yvonne. Hey! Yvonne, are you in there? Oh no, don't tell me you broke out. No, you goof, I'm next door. Oops, I must have guessed wrong then. They said you were in the cell with the red lock, so I just picked randomly. Still having trouble with color, then. And hmm. next time, try asking if I'm in there before you bash in the door. Wait, what are you even doing down here? <laughs> I know you're in solitary, but I asked the professor and snuck down. You snuck down here? What was I supposed to do? I was worried about you. I think Cosette has something for the Avons. But but after seeing him shirtless, I, I guess she was just completely smitten. I couldn't get permission for a real visit, but he said we could talk a bit. Oh. Damn, I guess I guess I was uh correct. Well, I have to say I'm pretty grateful. It's been crazy boring in here. Thanks, Cosette. Don't think me. I'm the one who got you into this mess. What mess? I'm here because of my own decisions. Well, even so. Thank you, Yvonne. So, everybody in class is doing okay? We all agree it's weird there without you. It's too quiet. It's sad. And distracting. Oh. But Zeri says it's a nice break, and that he can finally get work done. Oh, why am I not surprised? <laughs> but he's just saying that. You can tell he misses you, too. I know I do. Oh, there we go. Right in time for the, the summer swimsuit special, and then uh, they're, they're going to have Yvonne and, and Cosette sneaking off. So, talk to me. Tell me something about yourself. What were you like as a little boy? What was I like? Ooh, I don't know. What's to say? I was your normal brat, aren't we all? Now if you want stories, I could tell you about this time with Leon. I don't. What I want to what I want is to know more about that bratty kid. R really? Really, really. But well, all right, let's see. This one time. Oh. Heed me. Wait. I haven't used these guys at all in the last couple of, of missions. Alexis, yours is a beauty ill befitting your sex. It is a shame you're male. Listen up. I would have you as my aide. What say you? <laughs> uh, sorry, but I refuse. <laughs> oh, ho! Oh, Nahum got shot down! What is it? What do you want, child? What will it take to silence your noise? What's the idea? I'm not a child. I'm a full grown 15, okay? Hey, dude! Speaking of shot down, I hear you're propositioning folks from other classes. 
Land Seal's not here, so you can recruit an aide, dude. What's a pain? It is a king's duty to find talented advisors and a beautiful mate. I guess he swings all the ways. A mate? Wait, you're shopping around for a bride here? Hmm? Naturally. My father had three wives by the age of 15. The fuck? What? Three wives? At 15, he had three wives? <laughs> and lovely ones at that. They've borne him 25 children, plus me. Oh, man! 25? Mm-hmm. If I don't want to worry my family, I'll need a wife or two soon myself. Ugh! You guys don't do things in half measures over a dryer, do you, dude? Dude, what even is that? Oh yeah, we got new mechanics, I guess. Is this gonna be about the artillery shelling? All right, maggots, listen up. Yule. Yule is filled with trenches and contaminated pools due to the fierce battles fought there previously. Trenches are handy for hiding from enemies and taking cover from area-wide mortars. Advancing troops should make use of them. Contaminated pools are toxic. So soldiers stepping in them will lose HP steadily and take more damage than usual. Heavy vehicles will also sink into the pools, making movement costs more AP. If you have a vehicle fitted with off-road equipment, you can proceed across these patches using the normal amount of AP. So my, my light tank B can do this. During daytime missions, the lightning effect also occurs around the damaged lightning rods dotted across the city. It is close by when this happens, will take a large amount of damage, so try to stay away from them whenever possible. While lightning won't occur at night, the rebel searchlights will be active. Why doesn't it occur at night? There are storms at night. If an allied unit is caught in a searchlight, howitzers will be fired at their position. Watch searchlight movements and try not to get caught by them. If you are spotted, move away or take cover in a trench. Got it? If I see any screw-ups, it's a hundred laps. Okay, what about the store? There's gotta be new stuff in the store. Hey, Yvonne! How goes it today? The long-range tanks. Okay, but I'm too poor to buy it. Aircraft technology lagging. Two years have passed since war between the Empire and the Federation began. Both have now developed aircraft for frontline use. But sadly, Galia is behind the curve. Although we have skilled engineers, reduced wartime parts production is not meeting demand. The army is working on airships that can be made more easily, but they are not yet ready for deployment in battle. Airships have also been sighted in areas of southern Galia under rebel control, so it is likely they have airships of their own. Audrey retreats from York. The rebel offensive in central Gallia has ceased, and armored corps led by General Audrey Gossinarl have withdrawn from Yule, preventing their advance towards Randgrees. However, Yule lies in ruins, and many gave their lives in its defense. General Baldrin Gassinarl's forces occupy Belvere, but rebel plans to surround Randgrees have been thwarted due to the failed attack on Yule. The rebels may abandon Belvere and retreat south to avoid being cut off, so the crisis seems over for now. Lottie Insider. Militia Inspectors Visit. Several inspectors from the militia visit Landseal on the 11th to view the new drill grounds and see our training methods firsthand, hoping to reinforce cooperation between the armory and the militia. Corporal Homer Prone stated of this visit, I was impressed. I'd like to adopt some of this in the militia. The climbing walls looked hopelessly high, and the drill instructor set a grueling pace. An angelic smile never left his face as he spoke. Homer, you're quite shy for such a good-looking guy. I feel like that's a, that was a song. It was kind of like ripping the, the same beat from it. Oh, what, what was the song called, though? It, it's like got similar lyrics, too. Like, uh, never mind. Class G received a letter of thanks from Oscar Byler, a student living in Yule. Oscar fought with the town watch of the battle there and was saved by Class G students when surrounded by the enemy. Here's what he had to say. Yule is now safe thanks to you all. I hear you joined the fighting without permission, and as a former militia soldier, I'd like to think I understand your situation. I hope you all make it through this safely. We don't regret a thing, Oscar.
I have to I have to know about the Garrel Lull. The tank used by General Audrey Gassinaro, commander of the Rebel Armored Corps. It features five 150mm rocket launchers in addition to the 75mm main gun. The rockets deliver a 6.5 kilogram payload and make up for a lack of accuracy with their area effect. Some think Audrey chose this as her personal tank due to the sound of its rockets launching and the sight of them descending from the heavens, reminding her of the wrath of God. Length 6.2 meters, width 3.3 meters, weight 34 tons, top speed 40 kilometers an hour. Alright. <clears throat> okay, so with the revelations of the um, prison that Yvonne spent, I, I don't feel like it's right to take out a classmate mission and uh, screw that all up. So I'm actually going to start them in the next episode, and I'm going to end this one here. Unfortunately, there was no actual action in here. Um, I might have done the free mission if I had enough money for it, but I just don't because... I was greedy in there, but I should be able to uh, get enough to, to buy it while doing the classmate missions, I assume. Anyway, I'm going to end this one here, so leave a like, comment, or subscribe down below. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.